Welcome back to Let's Play Rome Total War, Carthage Campaign, episode the 34th. And when we left off, we managed to capture Carthago Nova and crown it as our new capital in our little empire, or at least what's left of our empire since we lost most of it to Rome, Numidia and various other people. But hey, I'm on the road to recovery and yeah, we're, we, you know, we're doing, we're doing all right here. I mean, this is this is our new area. It's, it's currently our new capital, Cafe Nova, for new Carthage. So, what do we need to do today, then, in order to continue to secure our position and hopefully one day make it even stronger than it already is? Well, at the end of the last episode, it looks like the Spanish decided to launch another attack against us. Ortzi of Tartessus has launched an attack against Corduba, which is currently not the most well garrisoned city in, ta in, in my area. Luckily, the Spanish presence in this area now is quite weak, so I should be able to get away with sending reinforcements. However, this turn we need to do retraining, and then the reinforcements shall be on the move. I'm actually just going to... There we go. I want the Balearics to be definitely in a favourable area for retraining. And then I will send some forces back to help out. I'm going to also send Daniel Herders just to scout the area, make sure the area is safe for me to return. And also see if we can scope out what's in Ortiz's army. But what we are doing at the minute is we are trying to build up our money still. We are actually currently sitting on a lot of cash at the second just because I exterminated uh, Carefago Nova. I know it's not the best impression to be making in your new capital city, but needs must. And it actually gets me the mines plus one in Oscar, so that means we can increase our financial productivity there. And in Parma, we could also do something cool, I guess, like a uh, better market. Actually, that's going to get us some more money. Better farming for more food. You know, all this lovely good stuff. Also here, I'm going to recruit a few more Iberian infantry. Uh, at least, you know, I'm going to get another round shield cavalry. And then, because we, we need... I, I do want to make sure we still have a strong front against Gaul, in case Gaul ever turns against us. But we do need to think about uh, building up an, an army to attack this area now we need to start moving up into Lusitania and then Galicia and then that's what and then once we've done that we can start thinking about attacking Gaul make our way through Europe and then back into Africa it's like a, we're like we're taking a long route basically but hey that's what Carthage is famous for doing anyway we're also gonna build a ship right here just to increase our training and increase our, our naval productivity here but we are going to go to the next turn now, see what the Spanish are up to, see if they retaliate very nastily towards my siege on Carthago Nova, and see if my finances decide to just get worse, which they probably will, but whatever. Next turn, please. Right, looks like there's been no major movements. Corduba's probably still not in a very good state, though. We can't really do much about it, though. However, what we can do is now that I've got the majority of my army retrained, also, money's not doing too bad. Looks like we're still pulling a little bit in. I'm going to have... Well, Philosophy is going to stay behind. Uh, actually, should I bring a general? You know, I'm going to bring a general. I need a general in this battle. Um, but I'm going to bring it along my round shields. Plenty of Iberians and my Balearics, they're gonna go and deal with Ortizzi, so you guys, you know where to go, you guys know what to do, so just get moving, you're taking quite the long path, but we'll be there within two turns, fine, that'll, that'll do, right, meanwhile at Carfego Nova, which is currently doing okay actually on uh, auto management, which is strange, finish off a retraining and uh, other things we can construct, start thinking about building some sewers because we need to uh, Keep, keep on top of the maintenance. And oh, by the way, we have access to long shield cavalry here. That's going to be useful for me. Recruit just for one now. Because we're going to. Yeah, if I can phase out round shield cavalry, then I'm going to get even stronger. Right, Stanil, you keep moving. I want you to scope out Ortiz's army. And then, when we have the opportunity, I'm going to get you into Lusitania to do some infiltration. Meanwhile, he is building his siege equipment up now. We have a better readout of his army. There's a lot of cavalry in it, which means he might not be the most successful sieger in the world, but... <coughs> this could be dangerous still. It could be very, very dangerous indeed. He could attack at the end of his turn, which is not good for me at all. But either way, did some recruitment, did some stuff. You know, we've already just reviewed that. Let's go to the next turn and see what the Spanish do. Right, the Spanish do the thing I don't want them to do and they've lay they're laying siege before my reinforcements are going to reach the area. I don't really have a choice. I have to fight this one out. And yeah, the balance of power is really bigly in their favour because, let's face it, I just left town militia here. Yes, in hindsight, I may have cocked it up a bit, but... 
I could be able to do a quick follow-up attack with uh, Philosophy Ubisius here, but for your partners, this could be our last stand if we get this wrong. Uh, but there is still quite a lot of cavalry. It's just there's, uh, their infantry is very strong. It's going to be a tight fight for the walls. I'll say that, especially with a complete and total lack of missile units. This could go very, very messy. Very messy indeed. Well, the cruelty of war makes for peace, I guess. Peace isn't something I'm getting with the, with, the, with the Iberians, but... Let's just do what we can. Let's just do what we can. <coughs> this night we will feast and drink to celebrate victory. I promise you that. I also promise you the warm company of appreciative camp followers. But before any of that, there's something I'd like you to do for me! So, let your battle cries ring out clear and loud! Death! Death and glory! Right, this could go very, very messy today, but, um, yeah. I just don't, I, I honestly don't predict victory here. All I predict is a lot of routing on my side, but there is not a lot I can do today. Right, but what we are going to do is, my strongest unit is the uh, Iberian Infantry, tragically. They're going to defend the gates, because that's where we're going to be seeing the bulk of a cavalry charge coming through if the enemy gets their ram there, so right there we go. Town Militia, they have a simple job. Hold the, hold the <coughs> two main entry points on that the enemy will be making on the wall, so... If we can hold those areas, that'll work out for me. I'm also going to have some try and hold on to the gates. Actually, no, don't do that, right. Just keep two on the walls. The rest are going to be in the in the plaza or in the streets just to try and hold these areas. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not even sure why I'm making tactics when my only tactic really is just see how long I can go without dying. Both in real life and in this game, actually, because right now I am, I am still feeling quite ill. And you, you can probably tell if you have excessive coughing and sniffing and general shitty noisy stuff that's coming out of me but if I don't record anything this week then I'm gonna run out of stuff to upload so here I am it's just been a very cruel month this month uh, with work and that I've just barely had any days off but <coughs> my master stroke in this battle or at least my desperate bid for survival I'm gonna place my general on this area of the city here and what he's going to do is um, he's going to charge in and try and save the day when we lose control of the streets. But let's just start this battle because, yeah. There is little to no chance of survival here. Town militia. Let's face it. I, I can put them in a guard formation if I want. But it's just not going to happen today. I mean, we're already being shot at by something or other. I'm not sure. if I think the siege tower is actually shooting at us. I find that unfair. That is very unfair. I don't think Iberians are very advanced, or at least we're not advanced enough to do be doing that stupid shit to me. Right, well, I've got my tower attacking the ram. It's not really doing a lot. I can't directly... I can't give these uh, towers... I can't give... Oh, hang on! What is that? Ah -ha -ha! All right! <coughs> well, that's one way sealed off then, at least. Right. That isn't going to help us a lot, but it's going to slow the enemy down a little bit. Right, you guys. Just reposition yourselves to a point where you can defend the walls. Since we can hold on to the gates, Iberian Infantry, I want you to come up there. You're going to take over the town militia. Town militia, you're going to go here. You're going to try and surround the enemy. So, you know what? Town militia, you go there. <coughs> Don't know why you guys just decided to open the gates, by the way. Uh, just go up, go, up, go up on the walls, please. Don't open the gates. That would be a pretty proud invitation for us to be sending, right? You guys better be ready because the uh, Scutari mercenaries are going to be throwing themselves up our walls now. To the settlement in earnest. I hope you guys are prepared to defend the settlement in earnest because right now all you guys are just doing is walking about and it's not looking good. Did I give you guys an order to walk up that wall, by the way? Go up the fucking wall, you guy. No. Walking away from the wall isn't the answer. Going up the wall is the answer. Come on. Up the wall and on there. We need to be holding this area down. This is, if we don't control this area, we're going to get fucked up. You guys, don't go away. Hey, 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 hey. Fight. <coughs> Looks like the AI is trying to cock me out on this one. Right. 
Look, I know you guys are fucked. You guys are gonna have a really big morale boo-boo in a minute, but... Just stay there and try not to die. You guys, I don't know what you guys are doing. I only told you to go and defend this part of the wall, not walk off. Seems like giving pe these people orders is just a losing battle in this game sometimes. Right, you know what, get some... Uh, there isn't another entrance up on that wall for ages, otherwise I should have got some more town militia up there just to try and surround and squeeze that... That's the Spanish mercenaries, but that isn't going to work now, right? That was my mistake. I've, I've made a big stupid fucking mistake there. Those barbarian mercenaries are getting ready to descend upon us. So at least here I can try and sandwich. Someone just fell off a wall, by the way. That isn't very good for him. So there's like that one time in my last campaign where several men just randomly committed suicide. That was both tragic and hilarious. Luckily it wasn't my men doing that. It was the enemy's men doing that. Because the AR in this game is a big, 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 stupid fucking idiot sometimes. Right, you guys are getting ready to attack, not attack. I don't know what you guys are doing. You guys just keep making your way up. Just keep making your way in. <coughs> making their way in the worst way possible, actually. Uh, Spanish mercenaries, they're, they're, they're fighting a winning battle at the minute. Right, you know what? Don't have time for cocking around. You guys... Find a way up those walls and try and surround try and surround those Spanish mercenaries because my town militia won't hold out forever. I mean, yeah, their morale is their morale is sinking, so they're gonna run any minute. And once those guys try and enter the street level, that's when I bring my general in. Try and go for a what's gonna basically be a ditch charge attempt. It won't work, but it's gonna it's it's, it's gonna be a, an attempt basically, right? <coughs> You guys attack the barbarian mercenaries. You guys move in. Just apply pressure. Give them no room to manoeuvre. They've got their backs to you, so you know it's it's, it's very it's a very simple assassination kill, basically. But <coughs> looks like you are getting faced by the way. So um, just try to do what you can, uh, town militia. That's all I can ask, really. Just do what you can. The Iberian infantry should be able to hold their own here, but. If we could, if we could just try and make sure these barbarian mercenaries don't get very far, you never know. The enemy might just surrender if I'm lucky. Will happen, of course, but you never know. Weird things happen in this game. Might be able to get some extra support over here, actually, if we do get the chance. Right, you guys. Um, I know it's going to tire out, but I would love it if you were to hurry up. <coughs> oh my throat is absolutely fucking killing me right now. Right, they're bringing up some Iberian infantry now, sir. So right. Battle for the Walls is getting more and more, well, it's becoming more and more of a shit show, really. But on the upside, we are taking these barbarian mercenaries down. They don't have a chance. So we've got these guys down, at least. At least we've got these guys down. <coughs> chance would be a fine thing, a fine thing indeed. Right, come on, come on, come on. Keep pushing them down, keep pushing them down. I'm going to lose this area any second now. <coughs> right, how are you guys doing? Taking the furthest entrance possible. Right, well, I don't care. Look, you're getting warmed up, but you guys know where to go. You're going to be making your way all the way over there, getting the back of the, just getting the back of the enemy. See what you can. As the longer we, the longer, basically, the longer we can hold on to these town defenses here. As you can see, they are shooting down the enemy men. They are, they are making half decent work of this infantry, sir. What, what? What holding these towers is doing for me is it means we we are basically delaying. Well, at least we you know I'm giving myself a chance of some sort because if if we can get the enemy to slow down, I might be able to bring Theopanis out of the city and start causing a bit of chaos among the ranks. <coughs> and if I can do that, then I might just win after all. But right now the enemy is going for a full-on rush against. Right, they're, they're rushing for the siege ladders now. I think they know what I'm up to. So, right, you guys, you don't have a choice now. You need to run and get <coughs> get to a battle now. Get to a battle because my other guys, they've routed. They're, they're, they're basically having to put up a desperate struggle to the death now. Um, I've got my other town militia way at the city centre, by the way. I shouldn't have left them there. I should have really brought... I really should have had them guiding the town gear, but... Yeah, that's it. The walls are lost. The Spanish now control the city gates. Right, we need to get those gates back under our control because right now they're going to open the gates. They're going to bring everything they have now. They're going to bring everything they have in the city. For your partners, it's time for your glory charge. Get in there. Cause as much chaos as you can inside those mercenaries because right now they're, they are going to just try and run for the plaza. Right. Iberian infantry, break your attack off. 
let the town let the town militia just finish those barbarian mercenaries. The town militia can deal with them. At ease, town militia. I'm just letting right for your partners. You know what to do. Just mow everything down. Just mow. You know. There we go. For your partners, will do what he can. Actually, you know what? Right, town militia. You need to fall back to the plaza. Don't don't let the Spanish get control of it. Because that's what they want to do. They want to control the plaza, and then that that means they just they can just give by themselves victory in the battle. Some of the Spanish are beginning to rout. Right, this could. This, well, I'm not. Well, I'm saying this could be a positive thing. It is a positive thing. We're pushing them back. We're pushing them back. I wasn't expecting this. Right. Just pulled out so I could quickly milk my charge bonus once more. <coughs> Try and bring down those round shield cavalry. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring those gates back under my control, which I have done. Which means I've just unleashed the boiling oil, which we were keeping up here, by the way. So now I, now, I, now I have the enemy trapped in my gate. I'll keep the gate open, of course. May as well just pause, you know, give him a nice shower. Iberian infantry, start fighting those Spanish mercenaries. Just do what you can against them. Town militia, yeah, we've got we've got those uh, barbarian mercenaries. They're, 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 <coughs> they're losing strength, right? Cavalry, you start moving away. Start moving away. Just lead the enemy around for a little bit. And I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring you in, and I'm gonna get you doing something else again. I mean, yeah, right. The enemy does have control of the gates again. So right, we need to. We need to get those back. Right. Fiopan is turn and face. Try and get the enemy routing again. We need to find their commander actually. But all oh, right, he's he, 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 he's just he's just fucking sitting it out here. Fiopan is isn't gonna last much longer in this battle. It's no, it, 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 it is, his time is limited now. My Iberians are just starting to break. I'm not surprised. Iberians always break, but yeah, you know what? They're putting a good effort today. I, I'm, 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 my, my throat's too. Ah, there we go. King lies dead before the enemy. Now the strength of the army will be tested by this calamity. Yep, Fiopanes is down. My last unit is now basically the town militia in the center of the city. So yeah. What's given to us in one hand in this campaign is very quickly snatched away again with another. I take Carthago Nova, I lose Cordoba. But I have an army just one turn out now. We can get we can get the we can get the area back quickly before reinforcements arrive. Might the army I'm bringing should be enough to take this this area on, but everything else I have now is either breaking, fleeing. Yeah, they they're, they're just going to have to fight it to the death. Final unit, final town militia. You've got everything coming at you now. It's just going to be a lot of round shield cavalry. I'm going to speed this one up because, you know what, it's an inevitable result. We know what's going to happen. They're going to come down and they're going to kill you. Simple as that, really. You can try and loosen up your formation to try and negate the overall effect. Or I give you an order to go into loose formation and you just don't fucking listen. I have a brilliant army. Right. Listen to my orders. Get into a loose formation. There we go. Right. Hope you're in a nice guarding formation because the enemy's coming to absolutely destroy you now. I've lost this city, but you know what? At least what little garrison... Well, what little shit garrison I left and I should have put up a fight. I should. I really should have left a better garrison in this city, but... This is how you learn through mistakes. Things I'm making all too common now. And you guys are one, two, three, fucked. But you get to fight it out to the last man. I mean, you're going to rout, but um, yeah, you may as well just fight to the last man because then we're going to have to just lose control of the plaza and let the enemy win through plaza capture. But again, you guys are actually doing remarkably well against this round shield cavalry. How are you fucking winning? Like, seriously. You're bringing a lot of them down. It's disturbing, but I like it. Bring more of them down. Bring as many down as you can. You might be able to win this one just... Well, we're not going to win this one. This, this battle's fucking lost, but... More of these round shield cavalry you bring, the easier you're making life for me, or you can just all run away. Just get in those round shield cavalry and do what you can, lads. Come on! Kill them all. Just kill every last bloody one of them. Make sure none of them live. Because if none of them live, then I don't have to fight as many of them later. Hell, I could just get my spy next turn. You never know. I might be able to just open the gates and walk in. If I can then that's where victory becomes all the sweeter for me but for now it's game over for Squawker he's lost this battle but he you know what he hasn't lost a war just yet war's only just begun but it's been going on for a while but 
You Spanish are about to get fucked, guys. You Spanish are about to get fucked. I'm going to bring in my extra army. I'm going to bring this one back from the dead. For now, it's a defeat, but oh well. These guys tried. They tried. They fought to the death, Bessie. Who's the last guy? Who's, who's my last defender of Cordoba? There he is. Got, uh, I was hoping he'd put up a better fight than that. And even now, the enemy must be plotting fresh atrocities. Yeah, but they won't have time to commit to these fresh atrocities because I'm going to bring them down. Hell, you don't even know what. The kills are actually somewhat even here. You know what? 791 kills. I'm taking that. I had a shit tier army and I managed to bring that. I mean, seriously, uh, one of my Steam friends, he fought against Carthage um, the other day. Or the other week by now. His enemy brought Carthage in, but only got like 30 kills. And I think he had like better units than me. But here... Shit tier units, still bringing seven. I mean, all right, I'm, I'm, I was supposed to killing shit tier units, but you know what? Fucking hell. Good effort, guys. Good effort. You lost, but eh, you know what? I'm still not mad. You tried. You actually put in effort. And I know I don't really sound very emotionally invested, but I'm, I'm fucking ill, so that's my excuse, right? And he only is already pl plotting fresh atrocities, right? Captain Nicholas is on his way to annoy me. Lucky I managed to replen my uh, my Iberian infantry. He's probably going to be here in the next turn, right? Well, I'm going to have to send troops from Oscar. Or at least uh, Philosophy of Ibusius is going to have to turn around and deal with it. That leaves me with a fun choice to deal with, doesn't it? Right, you, Spy, Daniel Herders. Why can't you get anywhere within the turn? Why are you so good at letting me down, right? Let's go for the turn notifications there. Cordoba got exterminated. Fuck the Spanish. <coughs> End of turn report, right? Not good. Faction announcements. Fio Declus is now leader. He's currently the governor of Parma. At least I have Parma to fall back on. And Anibus Volubis got married. Recruitment report. Well, at least I have, I have round shield. <coughs> I have long shield cavalry here. So I have something to fall back on in this area. And alliance announced by the way. Egypt has a lie with Parthia. Don't care. Right. I have lost uh, Corduba. I am going. Well, I'm not going to lose Carthag on over, but Captain Nicholas is on his way. So you know what? I'm going to make the exit. Well, you know what? I'm going to hire some Spanish mercenaries here because I need better infantry. <coughs> but for lack of a better word, um, you're going to have to turn around, lads, and deal with it because I don't. I don't think I feel very happy with having him run around free in my lands. Bring down that Spanish army and get rid of him. And Captain Arnor, or oh, Captain Ander, I don't know what he has. I don't. I don't really care what he has. But recruit another unit of Iberian infantry, and I will have you on the move in the next turn, Oscar. I will be sending extra troops out. You know what? Actually, you know what? Send some troops out now. Send all of this lot. Have him head south. They can join in the effort to retake uh, Cordoba. I'm not basically having to basically ping pong tennis my way around this battle map, but you know what? Sooner or later we're going to be stable, and then everything will be happy for me. But for now, that's why I'm going to call it an episode, my friends. So I hope you've enjoyed. I know I lost the battle, but you know what? I haven't lost the war. And I'll see you all on the next episode. Have a pleasant evening, my friends.